Hello, um, Mindy again here. I'm just um, doing a little follow-up video from a video, my previous video I did about the symptoms of semicircular canal dehiscence. I realized that there were a couple of symptoms I just totally forgot to even mention, um, mostly be because it's not, they weren't ones that affected me as much as the biggest symptoms for me was um, hearing myself really loudly inside my head. My voice um, almost feels like you have like a bowl over your head. Um, so just really hearing yourself loudly. Um, almost feeling like someone's pickaxing your, your brain every single time you talk. Um, it's odd, but that's how it feels. It just hurts. Um, but the other symptoms that I forgot to even mention are vertigo and dizziness um, before surgery. So I, you definitely have vertigo and dizziness after surgery, um, as I am experiencing today. But I also um, did have it a little bit before the surgery as well. So what that was like um, was usually when there was a loud noise, um, I would get really dizzy with loud noises. Um, my daughter, my third child, when she was about three or four, we were in the car and I was driving and she screamed, you know, that high pitched scream that is like ear shattering, glass shattering type of a scream. And it made my whole vision go upside down. So I got a total vertigo effect for just a couple seconds, but it was enough to really worry me that I wasn't, go, you know, that I wasn't a safe driver. Um, and then also just occasionally random times I would just lose my balance. Um, I remember once being in the grocery store holding onto the shopping cart. Thankfully I was holding onto something and just suddenly just, whew, you know, lost my balance. And so just some odd um, symptoms and unexpectable. Like sometimes you, you just don't know when it's going to hit. And a lot of people have the vertigo and the dizziness so much more severely than I, than I have. Um, and they're, they usually need to have surgery. Um, like it's more of an emergency type situation. They have to have it to function, to be able to, to, uh, do anything. So I feel very grateful that I didn't have those symptoms quite as badly as some, um, but, and that's also why I decided to wait to get surgery for quite some time is because I could function quite well. Um, but I was just very overwhelmed and exhausted all the time from the extra noise, um, just the loudness and my brain would just feel fatigued a lot faster. Um, I also suffer with like ADHD and so that kind of, I felt like those two, um, these two disorders kind of trigger each other in a way. Um, and so anyway, dizziness and vertigo are the two other symptoms that I wanted to mention. Um, so if you are experiencing vertigo or dizziness and you are going to doctors and you're not figuring out, like you can't seem to figure out what's going on. Um, mention semicircular canal dehiscence to your doctor. Um, if they don't know what it is, get a, a specialist, an ENT specialist, and see if they can um, give you some guidance. And it may not be that, because obviously there's probably other conditions that uh, cause vertigo and dizziness and stuff like that. But I just feel like I went, I went a full year without being diagnosed, and it was kind of... It was just very unsettling to not know what's wrong and to know something's wrong, but you just don't have any answers. So don't, um, I don't, it just, it makes you feel like you are helpless and it's just, it's really frustrating. So just be an advocate for yourself and keep, you know, keep trying to figure out what you, you need and what you, um, I really believe that having that diagnosis is really important because then you can start to feel some hope that there is some solutions for you and stuff like that. But anyway, 
that's just a short little video and um, I, I'm i going to try and plan on doing more of these, um, more about preparing for surgery, um, learning about the, the different things that, uh, so the diagnosis tools that the doctors use to make sure that you do in fact have this disorder before you uh, obviously get surgery or anything like that. But um, right now, today, I'm five days post-op through the using the transmastoid um, surgical option for correcting semicircular canal dehiscence. Um, I got a really good night's sleep, but I woke up pretty dizzy and my ear is ringing really loud. My that's my right ear here. It's ringing really loud, and it's almost feeling like it's worse than yesterday. So. That's a little bit discouraging, but um, I don't know. It's going to take time, and I know that it's going to take a good six to eight weeks to really feel like I am hopefully back to normal. Although I could, it could be the rest of my life that I have a little bit of dizziness and stuff like that, and maybe the tinnitus as well. So it's kind of a hard... Um, I just try not to think too much about it. I don't, I can't have control over that right now. So I'm just trying to focus on what I can control and um, take it from one day at a time. So anyway, hope this helps. And if you are struggling with it or if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to post in the comments below. Bye.